Hello everyone and welcome to the Inspiring STEM Stories Technical Guide. My name is Emmeline and in this resource we'll be taking you through a few of the key technical aspects to creating your own video. These will be video, lighting, framing, audio and editing. I'll also show you a few different options to set up your own filming space. Let's get started. If you're going to be recording your own video, the first thing you'll be thinking about is how to capture your footage. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a fancy camera. You often might have a good option already, maybe through a webcam that you have or even through your phone. For this demo, we'll be using a Logitech Stream Cam and a Samsung S10. First, make sure that you're in focus. Webcams and phone cameras have pretty good auto settings nowadays, so it's okay to have them do the heavy lifting in this regard. But if you do want to have a play around, you can look into your advanced camera settings on your phone and you can find something called an aperture. If you set this to a low number, that will help create a little bit of separation between you and your background, making you the center of attention. Also, if you plan on using your phone, make sure that you use the back camera instead of the selfie one. Regardless of what camera you end up using, the most important thing is your story. So do what you can with the technical aspects, but ultimately, your content is what you should be focusing on. When you're considering lighting for your video, there are three main things that you want to consider. The amount of light, the direction of the light, and the tone or the temperature of the light. Usually, the more light you have, the better. But you do want to make sure that this light is balanced. Natural light is often a really good choice if you have it readily available. In this setup today, I have a window in front of me a ring light near the camera, and I have a third light that is bouncing light into the ceiling and around the room. This will help balance the light with the rest of the room and even a little bit in the background as well. Another thing that you want to consider with your video is the tone or the color temperature of your lighting. This one that we're using right now is a daylight tone or neutral. You also might have lights that are a little bit cooler or lights that have a warm feel to them, like your tungsten globes or some of your lamps that you might have around your house. While you can play around with this and find the feel that works for your video, if you do need to color correct it at the end, you can do this in editing as well. Often, office spaces have fluorescent or overhead lights. While these do provide a lot of light, they often don't create the most flattering result. So if you do have an option of using a window or bringing in your own lighting sources, that's a better way to go. We'll show you now what it looks like with fluorescent lights. I'll just turn my light off here as well so you can get a good view. Now you see, you create a lot more overhead light, but you do have some other unflattering shadows going on. Uh, the lighting itself is also a different tone as we talked about before. It's a lot more towards a, a green tone or a yellow tone. Welcome to the home studio setup. If you're working from home, you might want to learn how to create your own setup like this in your own home office. When you're setting up your video, make sure you have a look around. Is there anything that's not adding to your story? Is there anything that's making it too cluttered? Remove anything that you don't need in the background and anything that might be a little bit too personal as well. After all, this video is going out into the world. Have a little think about how you want to set dress your video. Having a few key items in the back can add interest. For instance, some artwork, maybe a pot plant or bookshelf. Make sure not to over clutter your video. After all, you are the star. In this section, we're going to talk a little bit about composition. Framing is all about thinking how the viewer is looking at your video. When you're thinking about framing your video, you should be thinking about three main things. Are you too close to the camera? Too far away? Maybe you're too far to either side. You have to make sure you have enough headroom and also make sure it's not cutting you off in any awkward spots. You can position yourself in the middle of your shot if you're speaking directly to the camera. You might also want to consider other framing options, like rule of thirds. If you position yourself along one of these lines, you'll add a little bit of interest to your shot. When you're positioning yourself in the shot, you might want to consider if you want any other elements added in in editing. For instance, I can add a graphic over here now. Here we are back in the pop-up studio at Curtin University. Audio is a really important part of your video. In fact, 
it's almost more important than the video itself. There are a few different options that you might have on your webcam or in your phone that are inbuilt. But if you want to make your video that little bit better, it's really worth investing into another microphone. The one we're using today is this lapel mic. Now you can hear what it sounds like with the inbuilt Logitech StreamCam microphone. While it does record your audio, you pick up a lot of other noises around the room as well. You get a little bit more echo, and it isn't so clearly focusing on your own voice, which is the most important thing. If you do want to get an additional microphone to use with your computer or your phone, you want to make sure that it has the correct connection. It can be a little bit confusing, but if you look out for the gray connection point or having three lines called TRRS, then you'll be good. Before you start your video, you might want to think about any other noises that might interfere. Are there birds around? Maybe lawnmowers? Maybe there's some people talking in the office next door. You want to make sure that your recording space is free from interruptions. Hey, I'm one. Would you like a cup of tea? I'm actually recording now. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm leaving it Editing your video can help you create a compelling story. By piecing together different aspects and chopping up the footage that you've taken, you can structure this together in a way that makes sense to your viewer. You might be taking them through a timeline of your career. You might want to add in other images that help provide context to the viewer. You want to take your viewer on a journey with you. Think of it like a story. And your title cards can be like your chapters, just like the chapters in your career story. They can give some context to the video and they can even be used as question cards as well that you'll be answering in your video. So you can add in a question that says, what did you study? And then you can have the footage of you actually answering that question. You might have photographs or other video content from your career journey so far. For instance, you can add in a photo of you in the field doing the work that you do. Here, I've added a photograph of myself in, in the field, because that's really hard to convey sometimes without actually being there. If you have any issues with the audio that you've recorded in your video, this is where you can correct it. It's really important to make sure that your audio is the best it can be, because it's more critical to have great audio than it is great video. Good luck with your editing. For more information, you can find a lot of useful tutorials online about the program that you are using. If it's relevant to your story to be outdoors, that's fine. You do want to be careful to make sure that you don't have any wind that might compromise your audio, but if you have sounds that are relevant to being outside, that's okay. If there is a little bit of wind outside when you're filming, make sure that you film in somewhere that's a little bit sheltered from this. That will help your audio. If you have to shoot outside in the middle of the day, just make sure that you're in a shaded area. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your own. We look forward to seeing your stories. Thank you.